Pisces and welcome to your mini bi-weekly general love tarot reading for May 17th through the 31st, 2017. This really is a beautiful reading. Um, I, I really feel that how the cards are speaking is there's really going to be some wonderful opportunities for uh, relationships and marriage. Uh, however, there is a relationship. I don't know if this is you, Pisces, or another water sign that could be a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. I feel like there has been a lot of control and maybe even some demands uh, in this in, in a relationship here. And Spirit is saying that if you allow the situation to really unfold naturally and perhaps step out from uh, the fears or walk through them, however you want to put that, uh, you'll find that this relationship will uh, go much smoother. Now, there is a, a relationship here, a water sign. Okay, I'm not going to point the finger at anybody. This, when I feel this... Um, cup card here this prince of cups when I look at this photo and I let spirit assist me in the journey I, I'm getting that this is a very emotional person that sometimes there are waves even tides that are created out of nowhere this actually could be the manipulating uh, could even be a narcissistic uh, man because not only because of his control issues but his manipulation is extremely strong I also feel that he's very attached to alcohol and that um, he really wants to control all sorts of situations now a person came to me here I'm getting someone who has blue eyes and kind of brownish red hair feel like this could actually be someone Irish um, but I'm not pointing my finger again and leaving this card just to one person this this happens to be affecting many of you Pisceans and some of you Pisceans are also uh, distributing this type of energy so the reason this is coming out in the reading is this has to change if it doesn't I, I feel like it's just up against the tidal wave and there's no way it's going to survive that tidal wave okay now here I've got another water sign here and uh, again this could be you or it and or it could be other water signs such as Scorpio and Cancer to me this looks I feel it's a cancer and when I look at this photo I feel that this person is shy timid naive and even though they may be using their intuition, they are too fearful to make solid decisions. Okay, and um, I don't read the queens, kings, princes and princesses, pages, whatever. I don't read them as just one sex. In my readings, I read duality. So it can be female or male, regardless of what the picture is on, on the card. I feel that this person here, uh, besides being timid, is looking for ways out to uh, not be manipulated, to not be bullied. Um, I'm also feeling like this is somebody's daughter or son who has been bullied or manipulated. And um, spirit is dressing this person with a crystal stone, maybe to wear as a necklace, carrying um, uh, a black stone or a tourmaline or one of those stones uh, that uh, protects, that sends out energy for protection. Uh, either way it goes, uh, it could even be a cross, um, wearing a cross around the neck I just feel like also too that maybe somebody's uh, daughter or son is having nightmares and uh, perhaps seeing spirits or seeing something that is actually frightening them 
Uh, I'm not saying that it's dark. You know, children sometimes can get frightened over, you know, orbs and angel lights. Um, but I feel like this person here, too, is very, very empathic, very um, sensitive to other people's feelings and surroundings. Uh, very prophetic person. Now, as I move through here, I, I'm getting a fire sign and I feel like this fire sign um, either is proposing or it's possible that you could be married to them and you might even have a child or you may actually be this person who is timid. And um, however, I don't feel this, this fire sign is pretty, pretty strong person. But I'm not feeling that they are really meaning to manipulate or I think that they're just a very strong person and want to not lose control over their own lives or over their own life is what I meant to say. Um, I also feel like some of you may be traveling to um, either be with this fire sign or this water sign. Uh, I do feel like there are plans, too, for marriage. Uh, I do feel this one specific couple that I'm looking at right now live in two different countries. Uh, but I feel like there is a um, unification here of coming together, uh, maybe even prior to the marriage. But I feel like uh, a lot of this marriage and everything needs to be done first before there is a total 100% living together. I do feel that it is an excellent time, Pisces, for you to meet your soulmate or to meet someone who's genuine enough that you could call your soulmate and uh, really unfold uh, a, a really good relationship here. I feel like somebody is going to make an offer or an exchange with you. I feel like it's a really good one too. I almost feel like it's very innocent, very peaceful. Uh, I also feel like this exchange could even be a friendship that leads to more. Now, okay. So I'm feeling there is a separation. There is a disconnection. I feel like there are three people involved or there are three situations wrapped in one involved. Now this could be you, another person who is married and their spouse, or it could be you, it could be the person you love, and it could be your family or even friends. But there is a separation. And I strongly feel that... Um, I strongly feel that this involves a, um, well, it could be a Pisces. Uh, I also feel, you know, it, again, I'm being led to that water sign. Um, so I'm open to it. But I feel like it could be, um, like I said, I, I feel like it's water. Nothing more I've got to say about that. But I feel like it's been a very hard separation on you. Uh, this could, if you have children, this could have affected your children. I really feel like that you need to ask for support or go for seek help. Um, but I also feel like there are others who are offering their support to you. But you may be a bit stubborn on what you're accepting. And also, too, I want to go back to the three of swords this doesn't necessarily have that third party doesn't necessarily have to be a person that third party can be drugs or alcohol also because that can get in the way of a healthy relationship for sure pulling an angel card we've got the fairies okay uh, fairies are really uh, beautiful uh, and enlightening and they help uh, you to make a balance here I'm mother with Mother Nature and uh, Mother Earth, and to really, I feel some of you uh, feel kind of where am I going? 
which the fairies can assist in your life purpose. What are your life? What is your life purpose? We have many life purposes. We just don't have one. Just being here on this planet is a life purpose. Okay, so I'm going to pull some tea leaf cards. Scissors. This is a disappointment. Uh, it could be a disappointment in this with the three of swords. Heartbroken, feeling pain, also being upset about an affair. Maybe your, your spouse or your partner cheated on you. Or perhaps they left you. They couldn't uh, part themselves from... Uh, their relationship and you feel at loss here. That's what I'm getting from the scissors. The pail is telling you there is no win in this situation. It is time to get out. That is what I'm feeling here from the pail. And the mule is someone is unwilling to change here, guys. Someone is unwilling to change. Someone is being extremely stubborn you're not getting the message through. You're, you're not or they're not, whoever's looking in on this video, is not getting through. And with the hand, it means you're in need of help. You need guidance here. Get a reading, go to therapy, get some healing. Look at it, what it truly is right now in the present moment. Let me go ahead and pull some general cards. What are the messages for Pisces? Strength card, page of water, three of earth, knight of fire. What I'm looking at here, again, is that fire sign. And, I'm, and, and this is the Leo card. Okay. Uh, I, I'm going back into a relationship again, or a relationship that you want to happen. I feel like there needs to be more of uh, showing yourself, taking action, getting on stage and performing. But of course, authentically, not, you know, anything fictitious or, you know, fake. But I feel like you need to uh, draw this person's attention in yourself. I'm also feeling, too, that there needs to be a release, release of judgment and have more compassion towards your life purpose towards your life life's work is what i'm getting and um that's not what the card says but that's what i'm getting from spirit okay also too some of you could be getting into a relationship or have a relationship with a leo or it's going to begin or it's going to a new phase um, so, and this also, the page of water is also, uh, being very intuitive. You're Pisces, Neptune. You're very intuitive here. Also, some of you who are artistic might find yourself getting involved deeply with your artwork or, um, I felt writing too. Like maybe some of you might be writing or, um, you know, writing books or poetry, uh, painting, sculpting acting, modeling, you know, those type of things is what I feel is coming out. Um, the three of earth, earth is uh, showing, coming back to Leo here, showing the power you have regarding being connected to your creativity, being recognized for the work that you do, and, um, you know, honoring and respecting your team players. 
regardless if they are not all that great. <laughs> this is not about them. This is about you. Okay, and the Knight of Fire is, um, it's about time. That's what came to me. It's about time. Like, it's about time? No, but it, it's about timing. Uh, some of you uh, might be discouraged or disappointment, disappointing, disappointed, sorry, that things aren't happening the way you thought they would or maybe that you want them to be. I feel like this is a card calling you to pay attention these last two weeks of May to as much as you can pay attention to. One, I'm feeling strong. My communication will be extremely important for you, Pisces. And anyone who's looking in on this video. I feel like you need to think things through. Not jump up and react so quickly. Even, even with your thoughts. You don't have to keep defending yourself. To really get your point across. Your last angel therapy card here is be willing to forgive. And this is about connecting to your angels or your spirit guides or higher source or whatever it is you believe in, even nature. Just connecting to something that is a higher source than just you. Connecting also to with deep within you so you reach your spirit. You need to clear your mind and clear your body, especially of past pain. It's like make a deal with higher source that you want to exchange in your pain for peace. And the only way you're going to be able to do that is focus on the person that you feel disrupted your life, for example. And say, I'm so sorry that you and I were in pain and that I may have given you pain or you may have given me pain. But your pain and your experiences with me, before me, and after me, if they're still here, um, it's not my pain and it's not my responsibility. Okay? Please... Find a way to ground, clear your mind and body of past pain. It's not just happening in the head. It's also stored unconsciously in your cellular activity, in your body. Okay, Pisces, if you'd like a personal reading, www.transformationandempowerment.com. This reading is not going to resonate with all of you, so please remember to check your moon and rising. Great to connect, Pisces. Love you guys. Much love and blessings.